Why are you listening? Why are you different? Why are you here? Why are you connected? Why are you tuned in? Why are you inspired? Why are you on CJRU? The views expressed on this show do not necessarily reflect those of the Office of the Provincial Advocate for Children and Youth. Hi, you're tuned in to CJRU 1280 and you're listening to Anjou Wells from Why Are You? My name is Alicia and I'm 15 and I'm from Toronto, Canada. Took so long to let go, only time set me free. It was you I needed most to overcome the sanity. There's a million stars up in the sky, the million grains of sand. What is any advice that you would give to any youth? trying to become an artist i would say just keep your ideas in the back of your head because with an awesome idea and you think that you can make it work in another song keep it in the back of your head or keep it on your little notebook and just save it because it can help you when you're actually trying to write another song and you're stuck on a word that you can't figure out and do you plan on touring in the future i really do hope so i mean hopefully that that my fans and everyone can bring that for me because i really want to travel I mean who doesn't want to travel but (laughs) I just really want to meet everybody um, all my fans and just uh, where would you want to go for like a tour destination like what is one major city or area that you would want to go I want to go to Australia because I have a lot of um, followings in Australia and also because I really want to see a kangaroo <laughs> I mean like, they don't like run the streets but like I don't know that's just always been like I don't know even my mom wants to go there too but yeah <laughs> so it's like you kind of like favorite animal kind of it's not my favorite animal I just feel like it's just like cool just to see like a thing jumping on two legs and like have a pet which I like it's weird but yeah what song do you like at the moment <laughs> I honestly, I don't have a favorite because, like, the radio is always playing in my room, and so, like, I hear many different songs in my brain, so I never get a chance to think of a favorite song, which is kind of uh, bad for somebody that, like, sings, but um, I guess I would say every song is my favorite song. If you would want to do a collaboration with any artist at the moment, who would it be? Um, probably Justin Bieber. <laughs> um, I would do it with him. Because I feel like he's so unique and original in everything that he puts out, and he doesn't try to copy or um, put anything out there that's not already out there. So I know that you're on Musical.ly, because yeah. <laughs> you have a crown on Musical.ly. <laughs> yes. um, what inspired you to start like an account doing your stuff? Honestly, a lot of people ask me this, and it's kind of funny. Because the answer I give them, they're like, okay. <laughs> but um, I actually started Musical.ly because I thought, well, I had Instagram and I had Facebook. And I thought that, hey, well, I need more social medias to go off of and my fans need to see different things. And so I started Musical.ly. And at the, at the time, I was like, you know, this is not working out for me. Because, like, I had, like, two followers on it and, like, nobody liked me. I was like, okay. <laughs> but um, I kind of um, just stuck on it and then my followers went up. And up and up and then we got our crown and we were so happy. I won't lie to you. I know it's just not right for you. Please be with me. I know you have a clothing line, actually, like some sweaters and stuff. (laughs) Yes. So where do you want to go with it? Like, Honestly, um, the sweaters were limited edition. We kind of just did them to throw them out there and see how many people were actually willing to buy them. And they actually sold pretty, pretty well. Um, And so we um, decided now that we are going to open a T-shirt line and close the hoodie line. Um, And what a lot of people don't know is that it was a house-run company meaning that me and my mom did it ourselves. We shipped out everything, which is crazy, because we went to the post office, and people were, like, staring at us. The line was, like, out the door, and people were staring at us. They're, like, <laughs> they were giving us the death stare, and we were, like, okay. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, um, we are going to open a T-shirt line now and close the hoodies. You do modeling, correct? Yes, I do. So what age did you start that? 
Okay, so I started modeling when I was about seven. Seven's about a, an age that I would start, I guess. <laughs> uh, I started modeling because I just, I love taking pictures and I love photography. And um, my mom put me into an agency and they actually wanted her to pay lots of money. And I did some runway model thing or runway thing. But little did I know that they weren't going to pay me because I wasn't tall enough to do it. And my mom was like, okay, well, uh, <laughs> you should have told me this or you wouldn't have done it. But um, it was a really good experience. And I made some, I made a couple of friends. But, uh, yeah, I, that's when I started modeling. How's your L.A. experience? Amazing. I mean, like, when I went in the plane to leave L.A., like, a part of me died before I left there. I Like, I don't know. If you've ever been to L.A., it is so amazing. It's just such a beautiful place to go so you should go there if you haven't gone what part of la did you uh, um... okay so um we stayed beside um the airport um it's called lax and the reason why we did that is because my manager he lived about an hour away from where we were staying and if we were to stay in la that would that's another um like probably 40 minute drive from the airport more i don't know how you would say that from the hotel we were staying at, it's two hours to get to his place, I think. And then if we were to stay in L.A., it'd probably be, like, you know, longer to drive. So we decided we were going to stay right in the middle so we could go both ways. Would you ever get into, like, a girl group or something? Like, a band with your music? Or would you only go solo? Um, quite funny. I was actually in a band. And um, it was a really fun experience. We were um, in the group for about five years. I made lots of good memories and friends that would last for a lifetime. And um, everybody grew older, unfortunately, and the group did fall apart. But now I'm out for bigger and better things, and I'm by myself. Which I think is the best way to go, to be quite honest, because working off other people's schedule is not always easy. <laughs> <laughs> like, we used to have problems, like, scheduling things all the time. What genre of music do you do? You do like pop, I think. Um, yeah, I do pop mostly. Mostly pop. Yeah. Would you do any other like different genre? Would you ever try rapping in one of your songs? Um, actually, I did like a semi-rap. I'm not gonna say I rapped because, like, you know, I can't rap. <laughs> I did kind of like a semi-rap in my song "A Million Ways," um, which a lot of people actually do like, and I think it's kind of fun and it adds a different type of um, texture to the song. Uh, yeah, I did a mini rap. We're trying it. Do you like performing? Like, what do you say to yourself before you go on stage? When I go on stage, it's kind of funny. Um, Sometimes, like I said, you feel that rush, and you're just like, all right, we're going to do this. But when I walk on the stage, sometimes I look at the crowd, and I'm like, oh, right. Uh, Hi, everybody. (laughs) Um, Sometimes I'll actually say that in the microphone, (laughs) which is a bad habit. But, um, you know, sometimes I say to myself, you know what, this is what you're made to do, and I just go out there and do what I'm supposed to do. School, like, how do you deal with it? Are you homeschooled? Do you go to a public school, private? I was actually at school, and um, I decided I was going to get homeschooled just because it was hard balancing my schedule and going to school. School should obviously come first, which is why my mom put me in homeschool, so I wasn't a high school dropout. Um, also, because she just um, thought it would be more convenient when I go around places that she could just teach me school, and then we could just I could just graduate and do what I want. And yeah. I was homeschooled, so do you like being homeschooled? Honestly, I just got homeschooled, and I kind of don't like it, because it's kind of like, my friends are kind of like, don't talk to me anymore, and it's kind of like, but I made a lot of new friends on the internet that I'm going to go meet when I go to LA and VidCon, so if you want to meet me, come there and meet me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of boring, but <laughs> it's also in the comfort of your own home, so I bet if I went back to school, I'd probably hate it. <laughs> Is there anyone that you would want to meet that's famous? All right, I have two people. I already said their name. Justin Bieber and Ellen the Generous. Oh, yeah? I don't know. Ellen just seems like a really funny, bubbly person, which she <laughs> is. That's her personality. She runs a talk show. Hello. <laughs> but um, Justin Bieber, like I said, he's unique, and I just feel like he's probably, like, one of the people that I really want to meet. Would you ever do acting, actually? I do acting. I'm actually in it. If you had a movie to choose from that's currently out, what major role would you want to play? Thesis. <laughs> I want to be. Thesis. Yes, Romo. Oh, that one. Ramona and Thesis. Ramona and Thesis. Who would you want to yeah. be, Selena Gomez or the other little one? I want to be the little one because, like, <laughs> no. I feel she's just weird, and her character was like probably so fun to play when she did it. So it seems like a something I would want to be. I mean, it's like weird, but like I don't know. I just feel she like, gives like the most trouble in that movie. Yeah. That's right, but that's fun. Oh, like, you, like you know, when you're making the movie, I like. Know. 
they do it obviously on set and it's obviously scripted to do but like i mean it's just fun to like burn something like she burned <laughs> something in a pot like i don't want to do that <laughs> i could literally catch the house on fire almost but not really what venue would you want to sing at i want to sing at like currently like a yeah okay i want to go to vidcon <laughs> <laughs> I want to sing at VidCon because first of all, there's like a lot of YouTubers that go, and I just feel like I could meet a whole bunch of new people. And we could like be friends, and I feel like that's amazing. Also, because like my fans can go, and we can meet each other, and they can meet different people as well as we're all, you know, meeting. I'm meeting different people and connecting. Meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting basically. to know each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite food? A lot of people ask me this, and when I tell them, they're like. Um, it's actually called a manicotti. It's an Italian food. Um, it's an Italian dish that um, my parents actually make. And it's actually quite hilarious when they make it. <laughs> okay, basically I'm going to explain what it is. It's a big, like, pasta shell, and it's filled, like, um, with ricotta. Okay. And, like, you put, like, sauce on it, and then it's like, I don't know, it's just good. And <laughs> my dad tried to make it, and he did it wrong. So basically you're supposed to not cook the shell. Like, it's like a pasta, so it gets flo- floppy when it's cooked. Yeah. He cooked it first, and he was trying to stuff it, and as he was stuffing it, the thing was breaking apart. <laughs> He's like, why is this not working? I was like, because you can't you can't <laughs> stuff it when it's cooked already. <laughs> it was really funny, but yeah. Who's your favorite designer? Do you have a clothing designer that you like? Um, a clothing designer. I really like Brandy Mel. I like their clothing because a lot of people actually maybe don't know me, but I only wear sweatpants, and this is for two reasons. Because I'm really skinny, and I just don't like tight-fitted things on me, and I just like to be comfy all the time. And I feel like if you want to be comfy, why not? Just sweatpants are the way to go. <laughs> yeah, and they just ha- they're just materials that just... I have to use for like your fabrics, they just feel really nice. If you were to perform at a awards show, what awards show would you want to perform at? The Grammys. Yeah. What song do you think you would perform? I'd probably, well, as of right now, I probably would perform my song a million ways that I've done. Um, but if I also had other music out, then probably that music. I mean, whatever's latest when I when I go there. You know, if I do go there, hopefully I go there. <laughs> you will go there. <laughs> Thank you. Stars up in the sky with the million grains of sand in time. The million ways by which she's right. Cause there's just one way to make this. There's a million thoughts running through my mind. And a million words for just one line. So tell me how to make you mine. Cause there's just one way to make this perfect. You can follow me on Instagram at Alicia underscore Mariah. You can also follow me on Musically at Alicia Mariah. E L I S S I A M A R I A H. Also follow me on YouTube, which is not necessarily active, but if you want to see some uh, funny videos and so you can laugh and have a kick. You can go to Sweet Melody 100. Thanks to Erwin Elman, Rhonda Andal, Sandy Wynia-Katz, Penny Clark, Brenda Navidad, Jackie Tunstra Harrison, Michael Newton, Annika, Cody, Mary Lou, Alfred, Christina Anjou, and Dante.